Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a good day. Well, today I thought we'd start a new March first start and try to finish it in the month of March. I got this pattern. It's from the Drawn Thread. I got it from 123 Stitch and it's called Spot of Winter. As you know, I have Spot of Spring. So I just felt like this today because it just looks like that type of day. It's supposed to snow later. So I thought, you know, what the heck. So I'm doing this on a 14 count Ada. This is a piece of fabric um, that I got from the uh, thrift store. It was in a tube and it was uh, Charles Craft. I just haven't used it and I thought, well, We'll just see how this works. So we're starting at the bottom. Whoa, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You know me. I'm using three strands. And because I want it to kind of be raised up, sort of. Instead of two. And there's bits of snow. Um this called for uh one, two, three. Well, well, I think it, oh, sorry, let me look on the other page. My bad. I was counting the wrong thing. Calls for DMC uh, 844 dark gray and 926 blue green, and then Weeks uh, Dye Works floss in bark, garnet, cadet, and blue spruce. And it's supposed to have a snowflake charm, and there is no snowflake charm in this at all. So I don't know. It's right there. So I might be able to find something on Amazon if I actually want to put it on there. I just want to make it into a little picture, so we'll see how it goes. But i got to get to the pattern so that I can see what I'm doing now I might not do all of this in um, what do you call it in three strands we'll just have to see how it goes and I got another one of them funky little needles again oh dear okay hang on guys we're adjusting we're adjusting and we're gonna bring you in so you can actually see what I'm doing there's just a little bit of snow under that house. I was going to use a, a lighter blue on this, but I decided to go with this darker color. I have no idea what color it is. It's kind of a, a steel blue, if you will. How many of them? Oh, I haven't gotten it nearly far enough. And I put it in a hoop so it would be easier for you to see what I was working on. Excuse me. Bed and busy morning today. My goodness. Had to go get my check and then go to the grocery store and I wandered around there for about an hour and just taking my time. They had uh we have a Kroger store and they had a meatloaf that came in a, a tray, you know, you I don't think you can microwave it. It's a heat in the oven thing, but I thought, well, I'll try that and see how that goes, but I'm going to have to cut it in half and cook it because I'm cooking in a uh, toaster oven, so that way it won't take so crazily long. So, okay, how many? Six on the top. I'm just talking and stitching away as usual. So, what is going on? Everything in my world is just... This desk so needs an overhaul. Just absolutely needs an overhaul. I picked out um, two colors of blue. I know, I was talking about the grocery store. and Sparkly Squirrel. Before I forget, this and this is going to be the house. I don't know if you can see it. 
and then I'm going to use like a a red. I'm just using my own threads. So, oops, is going to be the the front door. So it's kind of a a darky teal. It is three eight oh nine and seven forty seven and four nine eight for the house. So I haven't worked into what this is all going to be, but I did pick out a dark, I think that's a dark green. It may not be. I'll have to check that one out. No. Okay. So I have, I thought I had the color for that. And then I'll make the snow like in three stitches, I mean three stitches, three strands that's on the trees and on these trees as well. And then the little snowflakey things. This didn't look too hard, you know, I mean, it looks like it's it's doable. It's got some special stitches in it that, you know, I might just go right by. Okay, now I have to have the pattern again. Two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah, it is what it is. And I'm the only one that's really going to care, you know. They gave, whoops, I got the pattern, so I can do with it as I, I please. Sometimes I want to learn new things, and other times, not so much. So, we'll just see when we get to that point. Okay, and I need one more down here. But it hasn't started snowing. It hopefully won't start snowing until... I get off work tonight, and I'd only have to work till 9, so, yay, speaking of snow. So we'll see if we actually get any or not, but it's like 30-some degrees out there now, so got to get rid of this white. And then we can go on to the blue. I like these little patterns. This is a, a nice pattern. It's plain. It's clear. You know, you can see everything in it. I love that part. And it's big enough, you know, I mean, the pattern is, I would say, two-thirds of this 8 by 8 and a half by 11 paper, you know. So, I think it's cool. I like that they make the patterns big enough for people to read, and then I don't have to go to the library and, like, um, make it bigger. All right, so now we need the light blue. I had to change what color blue I was using because I didn't think that it was going to show up, but I guess it will. No, that's the light blue I want because I want it kind of frosty looking. Jeez, I'm telling you. Some days. Uh, let's see, what did I stitch on last night? I didn't stitch. I don't. I did a little bit on uh, my Fal uh, Falcon. What is that? Phoenix. Jeez, couldn't think what it was called. Oh hell. Um. Last night, and I'm about to run out of that one color, so I'll have to run to the uh, oh, sewing store. It's barely a sewing store, but the man's about 90 years old, so I'm not complaining. At least they have DMC floss. I have to buy everything else every place else, so. And they have um, cotton fabric specifically for, um, oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Hang on. I just said I was going to do that, and I almost threaded that wrong. Um, they have fabric for, uh, what do you call it? Quilts. But I'm just so not into quilts anymore. I just, I can't. I mean, I could get the tops done, but it would take forever, and I'm just not going there again. They have some pretty fabric, but I don't know. Just not there anymore. There was a time when I had everything quilt, and I was following Eleanor Burns, and and I could whip out tops and, and put them all together and make everybody a quilt. Yeah, we're done with that shit. 
Okay, so we got that part done. So we need to come up. This isn't too bad to see on. I like this color. Let me see how light that's going to be. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, just make sure um, that I have the right thing. We'll see how this looks. I'm going to want to do it all in three strands. Oh, it's not bad. I just thought it'd be nice to make the snow all puffy and the snowflakes all puffy. So, carry on, little girl. Carry on. Sorry. Okay, now we got to bring you back in. Hang on. I'm good. Whoa. Sorry. I knew that was going to happen. I'm trying to get you where it needs to be. This uh, material looks gray in the camera, but it's actually a blue. It's really pretty. So I've been looking around. I'm waiting for all this stuff to come out from uh, market so that um, I can see what I want to buy, you know, not right away, you know, just put them in my wish list and go for that. But I do want that Teresa Cogart one that I told you about. Yeah, that, that's my new obsession. It is just absolutely beautiful with those red birds. Oh, and I don't even have a clue that I can, I can stitch it or, or not, but it's just gorgeous. It's like a sample. I want to say a sampler, but it's not. I mean, I, I can't remember all of everything that was supposed to be in it. Oh, crap. Am I doing it again? I'm sorry, people. Um, <coughs> it has like a vase in the middle of it. And it has these red birds, like, scattered over the whole picture. And it's just, it's just stunning just stunning. I'd also love to do one of those like um, what is it? Needle Arts. Olivia did what is that guy's name? Oh, he's uh, and he does just spectacular needle work. And she has one and she had finished it. I have no idea how long it took her but um, just gorgeous. Just, I can't think of the guy. And he has a, a book out. I hate when I do that crap. I'm sorry. I went down a rabbit hole and... Yeah, I'll be damned. So, oops, sorry. Adjusting. I was trying to figure out how tall that was. Hang on. Fifteen. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. And my problem is I forget by the time I get up there how many I'm supposed to make, so I have to count it about three times. It's twelve. Thirteen. and 15. I like that light blue on this color. Let me back out just a little. Sometimes it gets a little up close and personal there. There we go. So we can see what we're doing. Okay. Better count that one more time, guys. Oops, see, I didn't, I miscounted, and then I'd had to frog it out, so, so, I don't know, I looked up if my stuff is coming, it's, one of them got, uh, sent out yesterday, and the other one got sent out, I think, 
is either Thursday or Friday. I can't remember. So, one of them should be here, but I think it's the drawn thread thing. Whoops. That, it, yeah, I know it's coming first, you know. So, I love how tiny the stitches are. Oh no, this might be a 16 count. It just looks awfully small to me. But it might be 14. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can go down. Yay. It has this light blue outline all the way around everything. But I just thought this was such a pretty little pattern and it would be easier to to work with. Okay, make sure I got five. Okay. Oh hell. I thought there was a knot there. I'm like, no. Well, this will be easier to stitch. You can actually see what you're stitching. And I think, I did look at these birds. Well, they're red, but I, th ooh, sorry. I thought that I would make them um, like cardinals, look like cardinals, since it's winter. So I may stitch them in two different shades of, of red. They're so cute. They look like they're carrying, they're using ski poles. But yeah, we'll get there one bit at a time. Whoops, oh, I always do that. I lay that down, then I can't tell where I'm going. Oh, geez. I'm, I'm just not long for this world. But I wanted to... I'm not going to join in on March Madness, but uh, I will probably do the May thing. So I've been trying to pick up some little small projects here and there for the um, Stitch Mania. Make sure that all goes all the way down like I thought it did. Well, you can really see your stitches. So kind of got to watch what I'm doing. I'll just do the outlines first and then there's like gotta look. Two more colors like on the inside that make um like the windows and stuff. So we'll see. We will see. And there's, I'd have to look and see if there's snow up on top. But hopefully, there is. And it's just a series of motifs. I mean, there's nothing really difficult about it. And they do show you, um, you know, if there's specialty stitches, they show you how to do them. Molly says hi. Yes, she has to get her two cents worth in. She's not wound up today like she was. Yesterday, oh my gosh, you'd think she hadn't been outside in a year. But, uh, hopefully, I'm in focus here, guys. It is what it is today. I'm going to try and see if I can find a different kind of a overhead thing to hold my camera on Amazon. See what, you know, is available. I got this because I knew it would clamp onto my desk. But uh, I tried to attach it to the lamp post, but that didn't work. Okay. So Let's see. Up. Three, six. One, two, three, four. 
six. There's three windows in this thing. Sorry. Maybe if I turn it this way for a little bit. I like the the point of this needle though. It's nice and sorry, I can't see. My bad. My bad. I have to have some light somewhere, but I'm working against it, and this stupid light won't go any further because that's where the plug in is. Yeah. I need an overhead light and camera thingy. Gotta turn it again, guys. Oh, jeez. All right. And then go up. It looks like it's even. I don't know if I did that right or not. So that's a six one. So one, two, three. Okay. We'll take your word for it there, pattern. Well, I almost got the outline of three windows done. And there are, well, there's, it's not nine because you have a door down there, but. So we will see. I wish I knew what I did with the other hoop. I'd take this off of Death by Grot Stitch. It just irritates the hell out of me. I had it. And I have no idea where I stuck it in a man in a moon. Okay. See, that just does not work. What the hell? Oh well, we'll figure it out. One, two, three, four. How does that not work? Oh, crap. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for today, and I'll have to figure that out. But uh, there's the pattern again. Whoops. Let me go back. Whoa, back, 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 up, back. Up. I think it's cute. Let me turn it so it's even. I like the little snowman. Yep, not too much to stitch on this. Not at all. There's some kind of a pattern going on. Like here and there. Around the birds in white. So that'll be cool. Alright guys. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. And y'all have a good rest of your day and good rest of your weekend. God bless. Bye-bye.